What's good, Gray Gang? We're here today. As you might be able to tell, we're out here hunting. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's about time Bucky goes down. I mean, with every day ticking, we're almost into mid-November. We're almost to the rut. But I mean, I know that a lot of you guys want to see me get out and hunt more, and yeah, I'm going to get out and hunt more. Fishing's slowing down a little bit. It's getting colder. It's getting darker earlier, and it's getting about that time to do a whole lot more bow hunting. So, that's what we're going to do today. Now, I'm actually going into a stand where my camera's actually at. I honestly don't think I've hunted out of this stand yet this year, but it should be interesting. I've not seen Bucky in a few weeks, but... There's no doubt in my mind, he's still here somewhere. We just gotta get the cameras out, get out in the woods, and just figure out where he is. We're about to photo bomb a trail camera right now. Smile for it. Jeez. See it over there? Right about, you know, right there on that tree. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hush it up a little bit, and let's hurry up and get up in the tree. Well, guys, I'm up in the stand right now, up in the tree. I haven't seen any deer yet, but I have confirmed at least seven sightings of squirrels, so we may need to come back and run lucky in this spot, because it's full of, like that one right there. It's just waving its tail at me. This is my view right now. I mean, the trail camera, it's over there. The deer could come from anywhere. They could come from this little lane over here. They could come straight out of there. They could straight come straight over there. They could come from down the hill. You never know. They could come down from this tree. Hopefully, the next clip y'all see is either some does walking by or maybe you know the bow cam and me spear bucky with my arrow this right here is the gopro mount so you know whatever i shoot you should be able to see it on the gopro that's actually the same mount i had the day i actually did shoot bucky for the first time you never know maybe it's time for a repeat but uh kendall gray yeah he's gonna be quiet right now look at what one swinging his tail you see that he's just swinging his tail at me Well, guys, I'm a, as y'all just saw, there went a doe and actually a buck also. I think the buck was maybe a little six-pointer, maybe a four, maybe even a spike. I don't know. And for all you people out there who say I'm way too loud to even see a deer, boy, I just saw a deer and I saw two of them and one of them was a buck. And you gotta factor in the 73 squirrels I've saw today too. But then again, the day's not over yet either. But I've still got at least 45 minutes to see Bucky. He may come in at any moment now. I'm serious any moment now so i'm gonna be oh and be quiet and i'm gonna start looking for bucky because he is somewhere just look at him just look at him well guys unfortunately we didn't see bucky today however we did see a buck and a doe and we let them both pass i'm staying true to my commitment i'm gonna hunt bucky and i'm gonna hunt bucky only now yeah as the season ticks down i probably will go for a doe with my bow you know just so i can get some well meat but as for a buck I'm going for Bucky and Bucky only. And like Grey Gang, one thing that I noticed is that the squirrel population is so dense in this area. I believe what I'm going to do for the second part of this video is I think I actually may come back here. I might even bring my air gun. I don't know. Either air gun or the 870. And just come back and try to get some squirrels in the freezer. So it seems like today we didn't kill Bucky. But guys, the season is not even close to being over. We've got till the end of February. Or my bad, till the end of January. But we still have a lot of time to kill Bucky. Okay, Grey Gang, we're here in the woods today. Now, like I said yesterday, I promised I'd come out and go squirrel hunting. We still may do it, but we're not going to do it like, you know, right now. Look up there. Like, the wind is crazy today. I wasn't expecting wind like this. Yesterday, the wind was perfect. There wasn't no wind at all. But today, I mean, bro, it's going crazy. Like, there's a nader coming or something. Bottom line, it's windy today. When it's windy, it's a tough day for a guy like me. And for a few reasons. One, with the camera, it really likes to mess up the audio. You know, the wind sound like this. Yeah. That, that can get bad at times. And not only that, but with wind, it cuts down a lot of opportunities, a lot of hunting stuff I can do. Like, I planned on going squirrel hunting. Well, squirrels, you know, they live in trees, so that ain't gonna work. They're gonna be in their dens. Two, I could go deer hunting, but the wind stirs up all your scent and throws it around everywhere, so the deer will smell you before they even get close to you. And then again, you gotta count in crow hunting. And just like the squirrels, whenever it's windy, that's where the crows live, so they're gonna be hunkered down, you know, eating in a cornfield somewhere. However, there is a few things that is not affected by the wind trail cameras is one of them and the good thing about today is we've got three different cameras and that's a lot of chances to see bucky and so here we go what we seeing all right so we got a doe there nothing too exactly special y'all can't see it but there's actually a buttocks of a deer over here you know just a doe again hey there's lucky what are you doing lucky what are you doing 
Go find me a squirrel. I don't know. I might need your help on this one. This is a pretty blurry picture to start out with, but I mean, you see its eyeballs, and then you see... I mean, you never know, guys. We can't just judge this deer like this. He may have an abnormally giant earlobe. I'm not sure, but I'm going to call that a buck. Maybe not bucky, but I am going to call that a buck. See, guys, this wind is just crazy right now. I mean, it is fast wind like this is no lie guys this is at least 20 miles an hour i'm not trying to exaggerate if i was trying to exaggerate i'd said 60 but i'm like being so truthful right now this is at least 20 miles an hour wind. and i mean it truly doesn't take much to put a squirrel inside if a squirrel i mean yeah they can climb trees really good but if they have the chance of you know falling out of the tree and dying they're just gonna stay in their houses like you know right now but as i look on the camera we got something pretty interesting coming through right here it's a big buckaroo now have we saw this buckaroo before yep we sure have we actually saw him yesterday right there he is we can confirm he is a small spike maybe a four-pointer i'm not exactly sure but we need to name this guy and now that i think about it that is a spike 100 because i've set the camera here before and i got good clear pictures of so him. so we know this guy is a spike let's name him Spocky. I know guys, I'm pretty creative with my deer names. Last year I had this one buck, I named him Bucky. Oh, look at this guy. This is another buck and it's at night. I don't know, that may be Spocky, but honestly, I don't think that's Spocky, guys. I think he has a little bit coming off of him, so that's actually a six-pointer, but this is the first time I've ever seen this guy, so I'm not gonna name him yet. There is no way. I just got a picture of Sasquatch. Oh my gosh. I just got a picture. Do you see him? Oh, Oh my, what in the world? Oh, never mind. That's just me. Okay, so yeah. Now it makes sense a little bit. There's a little coon right there. Nothing too special, but he looks like a fat one too. And there's me just a few seconds ago. Well, boys, I tell you what. We found a new buck. We found a six-pointer. We named the spike Spocky. We almost found a Sasquatch. And we have identified plenty of does using this location. And whenever I say plenty of does, I got plenty of pictures of does. I just didn't show y'all because... Well, 50 pictures of does, they can get boring sometimes. But what I'm thinking about right now is, you know, last night whenever I was hunting, the deer didn't even come near this camera. They were over there. So I'm actually wanting to move this camera over to where I saw those deer. That way I can get more pictures of deer that actually follow the trail that those did last night. Oh, wow, that was something good, wasn't it? So I noticed yesterday whenever I was hunting, both those deer came right down through here and went under that fence right there. So, you know, they're using this trail here. So what I've done was right over there on that tree right there. I got it, you know, fairly blended in. But it's right there. It's watching this. We should be good to go. And now let's head to the other side of the mountain. Let's go check that other trail camera. Because it was on a pretty good trail too, which Bucky, you know, could be using as well. And now here we go for the other trail camera. It's been watching this trail right here, which, you know, this is the trail Bucky was originally on. The, the, first day where I ever shot him. The first day I shot Bucky, he was coming from way down there, walking through here. What he was going to do, which I mean, whenever he got right there, I shot him in the back. But what he was going to do is he was going to come from way down there, down here, get on this trail, go up there and sit in the field and, you know, eat a little bit. So because Bucky done that a year ago, there might be a small chance he done it this year. But then again, that's why we have this ultra spy camera for that we can spy on Bucky like a Navy SEAL. I'm about positive we have something. Whoa, what in the world's that? Okay, that's lucky. Never mind. And there's me dabbing. What about that boys well uh yeah that pretty much sums up mine and lucky's hunting runs but let's keep going oh my dang goodness we got something good right here we got something mighty fine right there boys red fox baby red fox so how do i know it's a red fox well i'm not 100 percent sure it's a red fox but i know for a fact it's a fox number one look at the size of it okay with a coyote it's gonna be much bigger than that and then look at the pointed ears and then the black feet compared to its body and then the big old bushy tail that right there is a fox and i'm willing to bet now i'm not 100 percent sure on this it's a red fox that's really neat though really neat got some good potential for trapping season now got something to hunt for and here we got a deer just a doe but still a deer i would say oh my gosh that's an albino coyote but i know it's not i know that's the dang stray dog that's been just hunting my woods like bro what are you doing get off my territory well not exactly what we were looking for of course we were looking for bucky but then again we didn't get as many pictures of deer that i wanted either i believe what we're actually going to do is pick up the camera again move it to a new location and well yeah just try to cover as much ground as possible and we do also still have one more camera to go check but first guys remember big tom the sucker that we put in this cage to you know see how he grew and stuff well guys to be completely honest i, I think it's about time to grant this guy's freedom now, yeah it's only been like a week but bro that is a lot of responsibility to fit a fish every day. And so here he is, Big Tom right here, just a little sucker. And honestly, I think he'll be better off in the pond anyway. Because there is a brick pile in this pond and a lot of rocks. And algae grows on rocks and bricks. So I believe this guy will be perfectly happy in here. Get down here real close and let Big Tom go. See you later, Big Tom. See you later, buddy. 
and there you go. Now, of course, it'd be cool to have Big Tom as a full-time pet, but then again, like, bro, that's a fish, and I'd have to keep him warm all winter, and like, guys, that creek freezes in the winter, so here in like a month, he would just be a block of ice anyhow. do the next now this camera here it's a little bit different it doesn't have the on-screen display thing so what i'm actually gonna have to do is really sort of difficult i'm gonna have to take the memory card out of this thing put it in the camera if there's anything amazing i'm gonna take a picture of it on my phone of the camera then i'm gonna put the normal memory card back in this camera and then show y'all what's on my phone by videoing the phone. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is that this is one of my old trail cameras and it's not as good as the other ones. Okay, Greg gang, so I reviewed all 58 pictures and this is what I come up with. So the first picture that catches my eye is this random thing and I see that big old black blotch down there on the trail. I wondered, what in the world is that thing? Is that a turkey? So I zoomed in and this is what I saw right here. And I was like, oh dang bro, that's a deer and it's bedded down. So I was like, all right, that's cool. Just normal, right? Well. No, because then I flipped it, and boom, and I looked at the times, and this is two hours after. I was like, oh my God, there was a deer that died, and it was right there. So that's what made me do this. I jumped out of the mule seat with my worried face on and tromped up to where the spot I saw it, like this, and then I looked, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. It's just a normal spot where a deer bedded. You know, I mean, you can tell one bedded there because, you know, how all the leaves are packed down. So it's just normal. She took a nap. I mean, I don't know about you, but to me, it looked like it was a dead deer. Must have been a good nap. And so then I kept flipping, you know, here's 16 out of 56, just a doe. Here's 22 out of 56, just another doe. And all these in between are just does. And then I had, you know, pictures every now and again of two deer. Like, that's a doe and a fawn, 43. And then, you know, that's basically it. Just a bunch of random doe pictures, you know? And just a quick little note, something that you may or may not notice. I mean, it was in the last video. But boom, baby, I got fanny packs. Or in this case... Manny packs. I can tell you right now, the one I've been using, it's pretty dang useful, okay? So, you know, you got your pockets full with like a knife, random stuff like that, just taking up space. And then you got your phone, okay? Boom. You stick it in there and you keep going. You got a few extra memory cards. Boom. You stick it in. You keep moving. Maybe you got a memory card reader that goes with your phone. Boom. You put it in there. You're good to go. Maybe you want to eat a candy bar while you're out here checking your camera. But boom. You reach your hand in here and get it. And then you eat it like this. My point is, a mani pack is basically an extra pocket. And these particular packs are like two pockets. You probably already know this, but if you don't, you can pick one up at kindergrain1.com slash shop. Or the link is in the description. But since it's Saturday, it's also time for the verse of the week. This week's verse of the week is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I'm going to end it off there. If you'd like to pick up this signature series, fanny, mani pack, I mean. Yeah, it's a mani pack. It ain't a fanny pack. It's a mani pack. Or the signature series hat, you can head on over to gray onecom slash shop or the link in the description and pick you up one and represent the gray game but besides that roll the outro if you're not part of the gray gang go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left as always favorite squad post it up down low if you want some of this sweet merch head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description but besides that i'll catch you later in tomorrow's video